Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandbox channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing the expansion set for RG Shinanju. Uh, I recommend you to watch the Shinanju review uh, that I posted yesterday because it was a hell of ranting because I just don't like the frame. The frame is absolutely trash. And also, Bandai, come on. It's a perfect opportunity for you to make a new frame for Shinanju. And then they decided to reuse the frame on the Mark II. Great. Ah, typical Bandai. But anyway, put that aside. Today, we're going to be reviewing the expansion set for RG Shinanju. This expansion set just gave you two bazookas, one broken head, the the um, another variant of the beam effect parts, I think, and also fist hand, and that's it. And honestly, this expansion set, I told you in the rating video, you should not be buying this. This expansion set, most of you buying it because you just want the Rocket Bazooka. I do not recommend you to buy this expansion set. It's a waste of money because wrong, the, the Rocket, the rocket launcher, as I mentioned at the rating video, you can buy this on eBay at the third party company and then it's really cheap if you're just going for the bazooka. So don't buy this expansion set, but anyway, I'm gonna still review it. This thing has been in my backlog for almost three years now. So I decided to give it some love and let's open it up. So turn it to the back right here. Let's start looking at this. So the broken head and then we have the fist hand, we have the new beam effect parts, we have the... Oh, I, I, I can't remember. I can't remember uh, his name. Uh, I will just type it down below and then we have the rocket bazooka and then, you know, combine it with the beam rifle right here. Yeah, that's basically what it looks like. So now just quickly open up and then let's see what's inside. So instruction menu right here. Instruction menu, that's it. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, there's, there's not, there's not much, there's not much interesting thing in here. So that's it. And then now we only have one bag of things right here. So let's just take a quick look at this. So first, this is the broken head part. This is the decal. And then the rest of it will be the new parts, including the rocket, the fist hand, and the uh, new beam effect parts right here. And also, I don't think there's anything else that is new. So I think we can get starting. Yeah. So, you know, let's jump to the review first. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the expansion set for ROG Shinanju. So this is everything out of that very small box right there. So two bazooka, a broken head, the connector for the bazooka to connect to the shield, two beam evac parts, four fist hands, uh, an extra broken head, and two Daguza Marco figure, the saluting figure. I do have some mixed feeling towards this expansion set because I feel like it's really cheap. What I mean by cheap is they barely took any effort. It's just duplicate runners that's sticking together and then they gave you two bazookas. But you know what the situation felt like is more leaning towards I got shot and then you gave me a band-aid. What I mean is the Shinanju itself is already that bad because of the frame. And now you're giving us useless stuff that we probably can't even use. You see, we have a lot of new things right here. Look at this. We have the fist hand, we have the broken hand, we have the beam saber part, we have the bazooka. But come on, I just said it. The frame is not going to hold that much things. And plus the bazooka, you can store it inside the shield. As I mentioned at the ROG Shinanju review, the if, you, if you just put on the shield, the Shinanju is already leaning towards one way. Now you're adding another bazooka. Wow, do you want your Shinanju snap in half? I don't know why. I don't know why they designed this expansion set. You should have just redesigned the whole ROG Shinanju instead of designing this kind of expansion set because this expansion set is honestly not worth it. The only new thing in that only new thing that you can't get right here is the beam effect part and the broken head. Other parts here you can get it. You can get from like other kits. For example, the bazooka is from the System Weapon 007. The fist hand you can just use those ones that provided in the build. Uh, at the builder parts, builder parts, yes, yeah, the builder parts, they do give you a lot of builder hands option. There must be a fist hand in there. So you can just use it and then, you know, try to make that pose where the Shinanju is standby and ready to launch. So honestly, the only valuable thing in this expansion set is the broken head and the beam effect parts. 
the beam effect parts down here. Other than that, most of the stuff from here, you can basically get it from other kits. So first, let's look at the small accessory first. We have four fist hands without the hand armor. The hand armor, the instruction manual said that you need to share it with the weapon holding hand. That's the cheap part I'm looking for. Why? Because you gave us the gloss red runner for the Shinanju head, the broken head. But, they, but you can't give us two extra hand piece armor and we have to share with the weapon holding hand. Seriously, this is so cheap. And then next right here, we can see two saluting figure of Dagusa Mako. And then we can see one extra broken hand. As I said, they are duplicate runners. So that's why there's multiple things that shouldn't be here. But honestly, I really feel like the hand armor thing is really cheap. Why do I need to reuse that if, if you already molded another runner for your Shinanju head? Why can't you just mold two extra pieces of hand armor right there and then for us to snap onto those fist hands? Instead, you let us reuse the weapon holding hand armor. Why do we need to do that? Look, I spent that much money to buy an RG expansion set for the RG Shinanju. At least give us something that is worth our money instead of we need to rip off from the original Gamma to use it okay you know as much as i don't like the whole expansion set idea there are some good things in this expansion set i'm not telling you to buy it i'm just showing you what it looks like so this new beam effect part right here it looks really nice i gotta tell you for some reason every beam effect pass from the Shinanju looks really nice but the frame is uh absolute mess the surface looks really good but the frame it looks absolutely garbage and also the frame also killed the Shinanju value i also forgot to mention something at the Shinanju review is that the beam axe is really easy to fall out at the handle and two the beam axe can actually connect together it's a pretty simple process you just basically clip it together and it will look something like this as amazing as it looks, but the stability is garbage. And yeah, another good thing, another good design that ruined by Bandai Laziness. Honestly, I want to take a moment and ask you guys, which head do you think it looks better? Do you think the Shinanju head looks better or the broken head looks better? Because honestly, this broken head, I don't know about Bandai, but the definition of broken is not something like this. This is way different than what we saw at the anime. It felt like it's a it felt like it's incomplete more than broken. So I don't really like this broken head right here. And I don't really know why I need to buy this. Now let's do a very quick tutorial on how do you combine the rocket basuka onto the beam rifle right here. So it's a pretty straightforward thing. You remove the scope from both of them. And by the way, the basuka can extend as well. And there's some small movement right here, some small movement at the front right here. And that's it. The basuka is really not that interesting. And it doesn't really have like a have have like a magazine off detail right here. So the basuka overall to me is pretty disappointing. But now we are just only focusing on how do you put the basuka onto the rifle. So now we just have to pull out the small scope at the back of the basuka right here. Yep, so take it out like this. So now ideally you should have three pieces like this and you need to slightly adjust the position of the scope. So changing from here to here, then you just put onto the bazooka scope and also putting the original scope back on it. And then you will just put the whole scope onto the rival. So you should have something like this. Then you open up the bottom and you find the spot and clip in. So in the end, you'll see something like this. Now, it looks awesome, I gotta admit, but honestly, I want to test that can the Shinanju lift this up. So let's quickly do a test. Now, let's just run a little quick test. I want to test that can the Shinanju hold this. So the moment of truth starting. Now, I'm gonna let go now. Wow. <laughs> can, 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 can he lift this thing? Oh. Oh. Shinanju cannot lift the, lift the bazooka plus the beam rival. So another reason for you to don't purchase this expansion set because the Shinanju can hold it. Wait, actually, not end of the case. I want to test one more thing. So if I lift up the whole arm, can the Shinanju hold it? So, oh, hey, 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 watch again, watch again, watch again. What's the difference? Watch again. So I'm going to lift up the arm and you can see the Shinanju is leaning towards the front. So I'm afraid it's going to snap the action base adapter. So... Yeah, I'm just going to cut the whole test. But as you can see right here, 
those two experiments explain to us that the Xinanju cannot hold its own weapon, which is a joke, and also gave you another reason on why you shouldn't be buying this expansion set. So let's quickly go through how can you store the bazooka. So first, when you remove the scope, you can just store it like the beam rifle, which is stored at the back of the skirt. It's pretty simple like this. Or there's another option for you. You can put the bazooka inside the shield, just like in the anime. Uh, first, you need to borrow the small piece right here and then clip it at the back of the bazooka at the actually at the bottom of the bazooka then you just have to put into the shield like this and lastly just move the beam axe back to the shield again and you should have something like this so i gotta say that it looks pretty good but i do want to do another test again so testing time now this is a pretty tragic thing shinanju can't even lift up his own weapon look at this it's already leaning towards one way because of the torso joint is so loose now i'm gonna test out with the shield right here so the shield you first clip it so you first let it hold the handle and then you clip it back in like this so does it bring back the balance does it does it bring the balance back i don't know you know what So this is basically what it looks like with both the shield and the rifle on the Shinanju. But as you can see right here, um, our Shinanju just can't even hold both of it. Look at this. It's already leaning. Yeah, it's sort of like because both sides is equally heavy now. So it's kind of balanced. But as you can see right here, let's do a little test right here. Can the Shinanju lift up? No, no, no. The Shinanju cannot lift the shield. As soon as I move the forearm, the shield is already loose. So again, Shinanju can't lift up the shield. Well, actually, Shinanju cannot lift up the shield if you decided to attach on the forearm because as soon as you move the forearm, the shield will fly out. So as I said, the shield is not really stable. So either way, you clip it on the shoulder or you clip it on the forearm. Either way, the shield is still going to fall out. So the shield is, you can't lift up. So summary here, uh, the Shinanju expansion set, it cannot lift up the rifle plus the bazooka and it cannot lift up the shield with the bazooka in it. So a complete fail. Done. Investigation completed. Guys, I will end the video right here. I seriously don't want to review this expansion kit anymore because the Shinanju stability is really questionable and it just pisses me off as I keep doing reviews. Do you know how many times that I really want to throw the expansion set and throw the Shinanju onto the ground and just end the whole thing because the Shinanju is that... Uh, excuse me, I need to say that it's that okay? It is The frame is The surface looks good, but the finish is an absolute and I just want to say that you don't need to buy this expansion set. As I said, the RGC Nanjo is a mess. The frame is bad. The surface looks very good, I know, but the finish is the but the finish it will give you like anxiety. The frame is just killing the value of the RG Shinanju. Definitely not recommend you to buy this RG or the expansion set. And for the first time, I will say this: buy the master grade, buy the high grade, don't buy the RG. The RG is a complete mess it's a complete joke this is why i hate bandai sometimes because they reuse all frame like this without considering the weight and the design of the shinanju they just want to cut their budget and then you know doing some kind of low budget low budget um products and you know somehow it ended up like this so shinanju is a tragedy and i'm frustrated i'm angry <sighs> I just don't want to keep renting this expansion set or the RG Shinanju. So I'm going to end the video right here. So I tested out with you guys, the shield and rifle, the, the Shinanju can't hold by itself. And uh, I would like to end the video right here because I basically show you every reason why you shouldn't be buying the Shinanju and the expansion set. So thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for the renting and the negativity. And um, yeah, I will just end the video right here. If you like my videos, then like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I need some rest right now because I'm so pissed about this Shinanju. So, goodbye.